Docker file. In the last video, we were able to create a Docker file and able to build the Docker file from Visual Studio. And let me show you the repository uh, by entering Docker image. You can see the repository over here, right? And you might have observed for to, to um, run this repository, I was passing one extra parameter saying hyphen p and the port number on which I want to run that application, right? So if you want to avoid that kind of settings over here, instead of typing what you can do, you can move those settings to a new different file called Docker Compose. All right, so that today in this video, we are going to learn how we can create Docker Compose and using that, how we can make our application up and running. All right, so for that, first of all, I'll just remove this so that it will deploy again. As you can see now, it has been removed. All right, now I'll just go back to our studio and the, the way I create a Docker file in the same way, I'll create Docker Compose. So right click on the main project and click on add and this time you select container orchestrator support and I'll say docker compose hit ok now it's asking for the target I'll say Linux I'll say ok and you can see it has created a new a file called docker compose yaml file if you see it has very minimal file uh, settings and it has a uh, you know, location of the uh, docker file also so it will build that docker file using the docker compose file now what we'll do, we'll just give, uh, I'll say, port number. So I have copy, I'll just copy this and paste it over here. So what I'm doing, I'm uh, setting the port number on which I want to run the application. So I'm saying you run on 8081, I can give any port number, so I can, let's give 8084. Uh, that's the port I want to export, save it and this time to run this YAML file what you can do is right click over here and open containing folder as you can see the file is over here open a command program at this location and simply say docker hyphen compose build so that it will build the solution I go back to my uh, repository, uh, repository and let's say Docker images. You can see it's deployed over here, right? Now, now this time I won't run the uh, this repository from here. Instead of that, what I'll do, I'll go back to the command prompt again and I'll say Docker compose up simply. Right, so the application is up and running and uh, what port number we have to use it we have to use the same port number to access the application so i'll just go back to postman and change the port number to 8084 and you can see the application is up and running all right thanks very much